We're looking to, to launch our uh, small group training sessions uh, from this coming Saturday morning. Um, we've had a slight delay with obviously the, the, the COVID virus, et cetera, which has set us back a few weeks. But um, with the FA guidelines now in place that we can do individual and small group coaching, we're looking to commence that from this Saturday morning um, over at Stanro Park. Um, we've got a group of four or five of our academy coaches that are going to be looking to, to hold these kind of small group training sessions and start having a look at all the lads who have applied for our various teams. So we've got opportunities for players from from under eights through to under 16s. Um, we're looking for the best players that we can find um, in and around the local community. Uh, but but also that just to let people know that we've got football for everyone. There's, um, we're probably looking for four or five players for each age group to top up our current academy teams. Uh, but if players aren't successful uh, initially, then we can uh, signpost them to our Emergent Talent Centre, which will be recommencing in mid-July mid as well. And that's basically um, kind of a backup squad, really, for all the academy teams. So we're, we've got opportunities for everybody in the community. Basically, any player can apply. Um, and like I said, you know, every player has, has got strengths. Um, and if, if we or if our coaches recognise that there is something there to work with, we, we will direct them to the appropriate team. So, you know, this, the, the, these are, there's an opportunity for, for any player. They, they don't need to have been at an academy previously. Um, there are some great grassroots players out there that have been overlooked for one reason or the other. So we're just appealing from everybody within the community to, you know, if you want to come and have a look at it, come and see what we're all about. And we're available for the next few Saturday mornings. Uh, we're also going to be offering some midweek sessions as well um, until we can start getting, uh, the, you know, the, the, the games going again where we can really have a look at players. So it's just an opportunity for people within the community to come and have a look at us and for us to start and have a look at them. Um, if they're successful, They'll come into our JPL teams, which are which stands for Junior Premier League. Um, and I'm hoping that Touchwood, they're going to be starting on a Saturday morning, maybe in about September time. Um, we're offering 10 sessions a month. Um, those sessions will obviously include football training sessions, the games on a Saturday morning, plus specific work down here at, at the ground uh, where we'll be, we'll be running fitness sessions, analysis sessions. Uh, we'll also have further games at professional academies in and around this area as well. So it's just a real opportunity for players to come and represent the local football club, but also, you know, to really kind of achieve their potential and, and see if we can improve them and make them better players. Yeah, that, that, that's no problem. We're, as I've said before, we're not looking to kind of take players away from their, their current grassroots clubs. This is an option alongside, um, you know, the other clubs within the area. So our competitive programme is on a Saturday morning. Um, so if players are wanting to come with us, they're still free to play for their grassroots teams on a Sunday. And, and we'd, we'd like to create as many kind of strong working links with, with, with all the grassroots teams in and around the area. The pathway is, like I say, we've got teams from, you know, we're even doing a pre-academy for five to seven year olds where we're just going to be holding training sessions and having fun games. But there's a pathway through all the way through to the under 16s. Um, what If they're still with us uh, at that age, then they can look at coming onto a full time educational program um, that involves full time football training. Um, we, we're going to be offering a range of courses based here at the football ground. Um, and that is all designed to kind of support and work with the first team as much as possible. So, you know, we, we've got a, a pathway that, that leads into full-time football that, that we think is as competitive as anybody else within this area. Uh, and we, we also think that we're going to be offering the best quality programme within the area. My details are on the club website. Um, just, just kind of followed the links you know, go to the academy section first and my phone number and, and, and email address is on that so they can get in touch with me, give me a bell at any time. 
um, and, and I'll let them know what's happening. So, like I say, there's going to be loads of opportunities during the, the, the summer programme and when the kids are officially off school as well, we'll start to run daytime sessions and we'd just like to have a look at as many different players as we can in and around the Chesterfield area.